sources have told CNBC TV18 that the Indus Tower Board met last week on the 26th of September over the concerns about the mounting dues from Vodafone Idea. Nimesh is here with all the details. Nimesh, what are you picking up? Hi, Sonia. So this is all source-based and what I understand from sources, uh, the, the, the Indus Tower Board has written a very strong letter to Vodafone India uh, regarding the non-payment of dues. Uh, and, and, you know, there are three few, uh, three specific uh, mentions. One, uh, they, uh, they were, uh, the, the entire independent board was very, very upset with the fact that there has been a long, a long pending overdues from Vodafone India uh, to the tune of 7,000 crores. So, first, uh, they, uh, they, uh, in, a, in a strongly worded letter, they've said that they want this, uh, you know, uh, the entire uh, uh, outdue, uh, overdues should be paid as soon as possible. That's number one. Number two, uh, for this month, uh, uh, you know, for the last few months of, uh, of a few quarters, uh, Vodafone India is only paying 50 to 40 to 50 percent of the overdues. From this month itself, uh, you know, the, the board is insisting that the, uh, almost 80 to 90 percent of the money should be paid, uh, you know, uh, from, from this month itself. And from November, they want 100 percent of the, over, uh, of the dues to be paid to, to Indus Tower for the services been, been rendered. Uh, in, in failure of, of, of this clearance of dues post-November, there is a clear threat of, you know, the services getting disrupted for Vodafone India. So that's, that's a very strongly worded letter to Vodafone India. We've written to all the three parties, whether it's Indus Tower or Vodafone or, or for that matter, Bharti Airtel, uh, no responses from, uh, from any of them. So, uh, as I said, this is all source-based. Now, uh, you know, the, the key to, uh, to this whole saga is going to be what next for Vodafone India. One, uh, you know, there, is, there, are, there are some serious question marks on whether the, the promoter entities will be able to infuse fresh capital into the company. So that's, that's a first big concern. The second big concern is, will the government of India convert the spectrum dues into equity? Remember, uh, you know, we've reported in the past as well that uh, till the time uh, the Vodafone promoters don't uh, infuse money, uh, you know, the government is reluctant to put in money and convert that uh, spectrum dues into equity. And the third, if, if there is going to be a you know, service disruption post-November, what happens to Vodafone services? Also the fact that uh, Vodafone is not, uh, you know, in the race for 5G. So there's going to be a big shift of, of customers as well. But as things stand, you know, you know uh, last week, as I said, on 26, there was an interest board meet. And in that, the independent directors took a very, very firm view that all the non-payment of Vodafone India has to be get cleared very soon. Otherwise, there's going to be clear, uh, you know, service disruption. And uh, there is a clear threat that post-November or mid-November, there could be, uh, you know, uh, there could be serious uh, service disruptions because interest tower is not now reluctant to go on and, and, and not, you know, accept the fact that they're not been paying dues for a very long time. Okay, Nimesh, thanks a lot for that. So that's on Vodafone Idea and Indus Towers Board. Uh, we